Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody is doing well. My name is Bree, and I am here with a very farmhouse thrift haul for y'all. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Bree, and I go live every Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Now, this weekend, I have pre-recorded this thrift haul. I am premiering it, and I will be live chatting with y'all. I am busy down in Kansas City helping Lorraine with a few things, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to show y'all this amazing junk. Now, everything is already listed up on my site, upcycledbybree.com, in the Shop the Haul collection. I've listed that down in the description box. I'll be dropping links in the live chat. So if you see something you love, run over to my site right now, grab it, check out, pay for it, get it sent to you because things sell fast. Don't just put it in your cart and save it for later because if somebody else buys it, it's gonna be gone and you're gonna be sad. Don't wanna freak you out, just wanna let you know that's kind of how things work. As Soon as you're done shopping, come back over here and hang out for the live haul. Whew. So those are the rules, that's how things work. And now we can start looking at some amazing junk. Let me know where y'all are from, where you're watching from, what the weather's like. We've got a sunny day in Kansas. I might have a few like sunbeams um, dripping in here and if they are, sorry, but I am not even mad about it because yesterday was so rainy and cloudy, ugh. Okay, let's start off with these candlesticks. I was super excited to see these. I shopped four different places. Last weekend, I was in Kansas City. I went to Salvation Army and Blessings Abound, which is more of like a boutique thrift store. And then here in Topeka, I went to Major Thrift and The Giving Tree. So four different stores. I kind of remember where things are from. I'll see if I can uh, remind you. These came from Blessings Abound. This candlestick was only $4.98. No. This one was the Salvation Army because I didn't find very much there. I don't know. I probably can't remember. It's been a really long week. <laughs> Anywho, $5 on this one. But I had to snag it up and I'm not going to do anything to it. The finish on this is amazing. Definitely a faux finish. It doesn't say, it says made in India. It doesn't say like where it came from or anything. But the faux finish on this is so good. And I couldn't find a set. Like it was just a single so I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to try to replicate that faux finish on this one. The tricky part is going to be the fact that this one is black and this one is like brown underneath. But I have an idea. I know what I'm going to do. If this one completely doesn't work, I have a different candlestick in mind that I can, I can use. But anyways, I'm confident in myself. This one is... Um, I paid $11 for both of them together. So this one was five, that makes this one six. And I have them listed up at $54.95. It's gonna be good. What I'm gonna do, I'll just tell you now, is like paint this one completely a light brown color and seal it, and then do the faux finish on top. So I'm confident in myself, it's gonna work. I love candlesticks, they sell well, and they're really fun to paint. They're easy and they're quick, but you can be super creative. Found a lot of really great baskets. I paid a dollar for this set of three. Adorable little nesting baskets. And these are a great color for spring, nice and light. You could use these functionally in your own home if you're a reseller. You could sell them as a set of three with some florals or something added, but you could definitely buy a set like this and split it up. I only paid a dollar for this set. I could really maximize my profit by splitting this up and making three different projects. But since they are a nesting set, I'm selling them as a set at $12.95. What are some of your favorite things to shop for? I love baskets and wood, metal and glass, and kitchen items. Those are like my top things. So if you're new around here, drop a comment. Let me know what you like to thrift for. I know what a lot of my regulars like. <laughs> this set of seven paper plate baskets, supports, whatever you want to call them, was only a buck. Of course I grabbed it. I'm selling the set of seven at $19.95. Again, these make great projects, but you can also use these in like boho basket displays and things like that. So I never miss the opportunity to pick up these, especially at such a great price. 
Okay, I paid up for this croc a little bit. It was $9.99 um, and it's not marked or anything, but the colors on it were so pretty and unique that I had to have it. It's a great size, I'll be able to ship it. And it would be a really good, it's about the size of my head, <laughs> really good in a vignette with some pretty florals in it. And the finish in it has some great crazing. Not a big fan of red decor. I don't use it a lot to decorate, but this one is like a gorgeous, gorgeous maroon. And then of course a blue stripe on a croc, can't go wrong. I've been picking these up, they've been selling well. And I have this one up at only $44.95. So if you've been looking for one at a reasonable price, that one is a little less than some of the other ones I've been selling because it's a little smaller. This is a pretty piece of glass. When I found it, I picked it up and flipped it over thinking maybe I would try to turn it into a cloche. The bottom of it is flat, which is good to like glue a wood finial or something on, but it's also indented a little bit. So it's just not ideal for a cloche. The shape is not great either. I did realize when I turned it over though, it is recycled glass and it was made in Spain. So it's really thick, it's teal, it's got a couple little bubbles in it. And I love the shape, like the florally shape of it. Great for spring. Definitely grabbed it up and listed it up at $24.95. I paid, I didn't write it down, I think a couple bucks, maybe $2.99. Very, very pretty. And glass has been selling like crazy. Y'all have been buying it up. Takes me a little time to ship, but it's definitely worth it. And if y'all didn't know, you haven't been watching my social media, I have hired some help to help me ship. Her name is Melissa. She's come uh, twice this week, eight hours of help this week. We got out over 85 orders this week. I'm totally caught up. I'm actually a few days ahead on shipping. Ah, and now I can get back to focusing on really creating content now that I know I have some help. So I have time to ship out some extra glass pieces is my point. This um, apothecary jar, it's a great shape. The lid is great and it's got some beautiful etching on it. The etched glass is selling like crazy for me, kind of like granny chic, I would say, but it's just beautiful and dainty for spring as well. And I put these together in a set. Where is my sticker? My tape, I didn't write it down. Gosh darn it. It's okay, I since I'm in the live chat, I can drop the link. I don't have to scramble for it. I think $26.95 on the set of two, if I remember correctly. This one doesn't have any etching. It still has tape residue. I'll get that off before I ship it. But I thought this set together was great because of the height difference. Set of two apothecary jars. I think I found them at different stores actually. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, it was a long week. Finally feeling some relief though. These little glass domes were in a metal um, I don't know, a little metal holder. Y'all know the ones you find at the thrift store all the time and there's just a ton of them and you don't really know what to do with them. But these were upside down in it, you know, probably to hold some floral or whatever, um, candles. And I didn't want the metal. So I bought the thing for $4 and I <laughs> donated the metal back. And it was funny because the cashier was like, this is actually the second time that somebody has taken the glass out of this and left the metal here. <laughs> I didn't want the metal thing. So $2 each on these glass pieces is what I ended up paying. And I'm going to flip them over. I'll cut some wooden round bases for them. And now they are an adorable little cloche. They will be $18.95 each. And every time I find and list the mini cloche, they sell out. So if you want one that's a very unique shape, I would suggest going to grab it. When I did the sneak peek, these little mini watering cans were very popular. They're cute. They've got um, a paint job on them already. I'm not going to mess with it because the green is really great. There, oh, there's initials on them. There's little initials that say MB. No markings on them. So I don't know. I don't know where they came from originally. They've got a hole up in the handle, which would be great for hanging but they've also got a hole in the bottom. So you could actually plant in these, which is why I ended up paying $2 a piece for them. Kind of pricey for such a small item, but they're really cute. The color's perfect and I knew they would sell quick. The fact that they had some drainage, they're functional. 
um, for a for a planter. They won't hold water, but you could put like a little vase inside of them with a fresh flower. They were $1.98 each, and I have them up at $8.95 um, individually. Two available. Just some really good like farmhousey staples this week. Last week's haul was like a really weird mix. The last couple weeks have been like just a strange mix of things. I was kind of having oh, a little trouble finding the best stuff this week. It was just like good, 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 good and fast. In and out shopping. Snagged these up at the Giving Tree. I pay 50 cents for the utensils. So I paid a buck for this and it is up at $7.95. Good different shapes on them. Good um, weathered patina. This set, I paid a dollar for each piece. Or maybe they were priced together. I don't remember. And I have them up at $10.95. This is still a very functional set, you know, for salads or whatever. Great warm wood color. These I would probably just use for decor. You know, I stick them in a crock like this or whatever. And then these are super cool. This is my favorite set out of the three. They're more like paddle shaped. That one's got a little indention, almost like a spoon. And then that one's got a, a big hole, I'm assuming for stirring. And then the handle shapes are just great. $14.95 for this set and I paid a dollar for each piece. Those are just gorgeous. I should probably keep these. I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> I'm ready to redecorate up here. Now that I've got a little extra time, I'm going to refresh a couple of spaces and I'll do a video on that soon. But I'm thinking like I need to start keeping a few things to do some redecorating. Paid up a little bit for this piece. It was $3.98 or $4.98. I paid $5 for this, but it's metal. And it has beautiful chippy paint. I searched high and low for another one. I was hoping there was a second one, but there wasn't. But a good, authentically old little planter urn vase. I don't think you can call it an urn unless it has a lid. I just learned that. It's got some good rust patina in it. And this is $14.95. I'm going to add some floral, some pretty greenery to it. I won't glue it in or anything, but I will add some greenery to that. This piece, I've passed on one of these in, oh, this is weird. Okay, hold on a second. I've passed on one of these in Kansas City before because it was too pricey. I saw this one at $4 and went ahead and snagged it because it's copper and it has birds. Both of those things sell great for me. So if you combine, in a, combine them, I'm thinking somebody's going to love it. The bowl is removable. The bowl says made in Portugal. But then right here on the copper, there's a sticker that says made in China. That's what I just said was interesting. So I'm not sure. The other one I saw was exactly like this. It's got some corking in there. So I know this is what it's for. Do you think this is just for like a casserole or something? Drop me a comment if you know. But look at the cute little punched birds. And you could use this. It's got some crazing in it, but I think, you know, if you clean it up real good, you probably use it for food if you want. I would just use it for decor. <laughs> it's up at $14.95. Grabbed this saw from Major Thrift. I'm going to show it before I knock it over. And I always pick these up when they're a good price because they sell really well. And the, I mean, farmhouse to the core. This one was $4. What's it say? It says USA... That's all I can really read. But this side of the wood has some beautiful carving. And I just love these hung on the wall. You can fill up a nice and narrow space with them. And then one of these years, I keep talking about it. I'm going to get a couple that are like the same size and people put them together and make them into like Christmas trees. So I really want to do that. But I've never quite found two that were perfect. Right. Oh, look at this unique basket. I paid $2 for it and it confuses me. So it's got, it's a pretty color, nice warm wood. The bottom of it looks like more like bark and then it opens. 
but the back of it's not open. So maybe it's a basket this way. You can put your stuff in it and then you have a lid. It's like a little Heidi basket. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking it would make a great riser. You know, you could put it on a shelf up against the wall, raise some decor up on it. And then, I mean, heck, if you wanted to hide some things in it, great. <laughs> or if you wanted to put it like in an entryway to put your keys, wallet or whatever in there um, and keep it out of sight. So just very interesting, very unique. Let me know if you've ever seen anything quite like this. Ooh, you know what I was just looking at? What if you could even put like a little hanger on it, hang it on the wall and slide this out. A little floral in there. You'd have to find a way to secure it, I guess. I don't know. Possibilities are endless. What would you do with this? It's $10.95, which is very inexpensive if you would like to grab it and uh, upcycle it. If you do that, drop me a picture in my Facebook creative group and let us know. Every time I find these little floral boxes for a good price, I snag them up. They are such a nice blank slate for a stamp, a stencil, a transfer, you name it. They're already put together. This one's a great color, a little weathered wood. It's not like super thick, probably more like MDF-ish, but it was only two bucks. I snagged it up and I'm gonna stencil it up. It'll be $10.95 when it's done. I won't put any floral in it for that price point, but this makeover will only take me like two minutes. Very, very quick flip. I'm gonna set that to the side because after I'm done pre-recording this, I'm gonna go live on Facebook and do a couple of fun little flips. So when you're done watching this, if you've not seen it yet, Hop over to my Facebook page. It's upcycled by Brie as well. It's linked down below and you can watch the live of where I upcycle a couple of these things or flip a couple of these things. Found this little sifter for $3. It's got some great words on it, some great advertising. I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to block the ring light. That's not working. You can see them. There they are. And then it's got a beautiful chippy handle been picking up a little bit of red stuff because we've got 4th of July coming up obviously in the summer and a lot of people love red it's a good staple color to decorate with and farmhouse look so I, I do pick it up I don't decorate with it a lot but I do pick it up three dollars I paid and I think this is $10.95 found another single-handed sifter um in fact you could still use this one there's a little tiny, that's not even rust, that's food. <laughs> little tiny bit of food on the outside. So it would need washed, but it's still functional and it's not rusty. So this one's still functional, it'd be great decor as well. It's a five cup, five cup sifter and it's the Foley brand. I paid $3, it's up at $12.95. That's another great deal. I was pricing things yesterday while Melissa was here shipping, so I was a little distracted. So you you guys might be getting a couple of like good prices on things. I found this brass butterfly. Found a set of three of these a while back and they are still available and I cannot believe it. People were going crazy over them. It was like the favorite item in the haul and nobody bought them. So if y'all love butterflies, search brass butterfly over on my site, there will be a set of three, as I'm recording this at least, and then this single one. The single one has some beautiful patina on it. The other three are in a bit like better condition. I like the patina. But the other three are a little bit shinier. Gorgeous. The single one is only $12.95. I paid $2 for it. So maybe if you don't want all three of them, I think the three, a set of three is $40. You don't want to pay $40, you can grab one for $12.95. I found an owl pan. No markings or anything on this one. It's in great, great shape. Doesn't look like it's ever even been used. This would make some adorable little owl muffins, cupcakes. I don't know. What do you guys make in these? I don't bake if you can't tell. But when I find pans like this, I find them all the time with like bunnies or whatever. You make little baby cakes. Can you make muffins? <laughs> I don't know. I set these up on the shelf and use them as decor. <laughs> Somebody buy it and bake in it, please. Oh, 
Okay. When I was, we had a really nice day this week. Yesterday it snowed. <laughs> Earlier this week it was like 60. So I did some spray painting. I had purchased um, some curtain rods a while back and they were a gross color. I wanted to spray paint them matte black. Finally had a good enough day to do it. And while I was at it, I went ahead and sprayed a couple apple baskets that weren't the best looking. They were Christmas themed. They hadn't sold. So I pulled them down off the website, spray painted them black and relisted them. And aren't they gorgeous? I am so into black decor right now. If you wanted to stencil this or whatever, I sprayed them with Rust-Oleum matte black and then um, did a clear coat as well. So they're all sealed up, ready to go. I would say indoor use, unless you want some of the spray paint to like chip off over time, which would be a cool look too, then put them outside. I think I paid a few bucks for it originally, right? Or a buck or something for it, not much. I usually don't pay much for them because they don't sell super fast, but I love using them like in my own decor. Put a couple bucks of spray paint on it and now it is up at $26.95. This one's pretty big, so it's a little bit more. And then I've got a tiny one here that I listed at $12.95. And it's got the wood handle on this one. That would look pretty distressed. It's just uh, regular wood under there, so it would be really easy to distress back. I figured I'd just leave them blank in case somebody wanted to stencil them or they like that just plain black matte look. All right, another bucket. This is really unique. And in fact, I saw it a couple of weeks ago and I didn't purchase it because it's glass. It's harder to ship. But now that I've got help and I see how well the glass is selling, this week I grabbed it because it was still there. I paid $3 for it and it's up at $19.95. It came from Major Thrift. I got it on a 20% off day, so I finally grabbed it. But look at that handle. It's like a hammered, let's say hammered brass. I don't think it's copper. Yeah, hammered brass or a hammered metal that's rusty. I can't exactly tell. Either way, it's good. And then the um, details in the bucket itself makes it look like an old barrel. Very, very pretty for spring. How cute would this be with some eggs in it on the kitchen counter? If you've got chickens or like far, um, Easter eggs, if you don't have chickens, just bow eggs for Easter time. That would be cute. Okay, let me know, what in the heck are these? Sorry, my hair is driving me nuts. I washed it this morning, and let it air dry, and it's wild. What are these? Are they just like a, they're not a tiki torch, right? I mean, that would catch on fire. There's nothing in there. But are they just for the garden? Like, the fact that these are cut makes me think they're supposed to like be staked into the ground. They were so odd, I had to grab them. I paid a buck for them, both of them. And uh, they're up at $12.95. What would you do with these? And even if, if they don't sell, if they don't sell, I might try to cut them right there. I bet if I used my saw, I could get a clean cut and then you'd have a cute little cup basket. I don't know. Sometimes I have to buy things because they're so weird. Does that happen to anybody else? Another unique basket. This one has a lid, right? Oh, I was like, oh, that's cute. And it's got a hole in the bottom. So I'm thinking, ooh, is it for tissues? And you lift it and pull your tissue. That way you don't have to see your tissues. Or do the tissues go in the bottom and you pull them out the top? You could put flowers in there, fake flowers, makeup brushes. Things that make you go, hmm. Somebody's probably gonna know the answer and I'm gonna be like, duh. Feel silly. I don't always pick up shoe forms, um, but when they are solid wood and they look a little bit older, I definitely do. There were two of them. They were a buck a piece. Shoe Keepers by the Rochester Shoe Tree Company. So they were a buck a piece. I paid $2 for the set and the set is up at $12.95. These look great in a more masculine vignette, um, a man cave, or if you have like a guest room, you don't want to style it super girly. Maybe you want it to be a little more neutral. These are really fun. Or you could put them in your shoes and use them. 
Fun and functional. Couldn't pass up this giant tray for $5. It was at Major Thrift Baskets. There can be a little bit pricey, but I thought this one was a really fun shape. You could go farmhouse with this. You could go more boho. It's just a good neutral basket. Nice straight lines. It's got the handles. So, you know, if you wanted to do a fun little centerpiece on a table, but maybe you've got a smaller home and you need the table to dine, you know, you could pick it up and move it out of the way as long as your decor wasn't too like crazy tall and shaky, but you know what I mean? That would be convenient. Get this decor out of the way so we can have dinner. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this giant basket is $26.95. I just sold two massive baskets this week on my site, so I figured I better get a couple bigger ones up there. I don't buy a ton of huge baskets because they're tricky to ship, but if they're unique enough and they're at a good price point, I'm a sucker for baskets. Weren't a ton of great books, um, there, and there haven't been. I haven't found a lot of really great books lately. But I found these four. They've got great texture on the pages. And they are all just really good colors. Would I necessarily style all of these together? No. But if you're wanting to add some books to your collection, you definitely could. And maybe, actually, that colorful decor is your style. I called this a colorful decor stack or um, book stack I think and it's up at $19.95. I've sold down a lot of books lately too and now I'm searching for them and I can't find them. So it's on my list to hunt for. Another cookie mold. This one says Heartstone on the back um, but like barely engraved and it looks almost like handwritten. There's a little copyright mark under it. I would try to show you but I don't think the camera is going to pick it up. So most of them I have found have been like Pampered Chef, um, but this one's a little different and it is a bookstore cookie mold. It's up at $12.95. I imagine there is probably a set or a collection of these with some different um, buildings, like a little town scene. I found not one, but two metal rolling pins this week. Somebody asked me a while ago if I'd ever found metal ones, and I said no, but now I'm going to start looking. Last couple of weeks, I found a marble one. It sold quickly, so I grabbed these up. I paid $5 for this one and $3 for this one, and they're each up at uh, $19.95. They're both vintage, but still in good condition. You could definitely still use them if you wanted. And how, like, just retro is that one? Fun, so fun. I'm growing also quite the collection of wooden rolling pins on my site. So if you've been looking to start a collection of wooden rolling pins, I've got a ton to choose from. And if they don't sell down soon, I was thinking I might throw them outside, archive them off my website, throw them outside for the spring and let the weather get to them. Here in Kansas, we'll get a ton of rain probably a couple more little snows um, and, and let them get good and decrepit and then try to sell them again. What do y'all think about that idea? They were selling really well for a while and they've slowed down. So I'm like, why not try it? Shake it up. This beautiful copper pan came from Blessings Abound. Some of their prices are too much for me. This one was only $12. So I snagged it up. I listed it up at $29.95. It is so unique. It's got the little ring here, so if you wanted to hang it for a display, it's perfect. But it's got just some amazing, fun metal work on it. The metal is rusty. The copper is patinaed. A little hammered. Not actually hammered, but just beaten up over time. I'm like, how many meals do you think this thing cooked? And it's a very, very interesting shape. It would be interesting to cook with. All right, what's next? Here's another basket. This is a great fun flat shape. I paid a buck 50 for this one. It's up at 10.95. It's got some good weathering to it. You can tell it's a little bit older and a great color. Here is another one of Lorraine's picks. She grabbed this little tray and I see these quite often. 
but I never really pick them up because I don't know what they're for. They have a magnet right here. Y'all are going to know. I bet these were wildly popular back in the day because like I said, I see them quite often. It's got the tile work and then they have got a magnet and a divot and a hole. What were these originally for? I have ordered a new product. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about it yet. It's a teaser. I'm not sure if she's released it. It's from Jamie Ray Vintage. I'm not gonna say what it is yet, but I ordered them yesterday. They just released them to us. I will be able to show y'all next Friday on my birthday. Um, but anyways, the thing I ordered is gonna be perfect to upcycle right here. I'm just gonna say that much. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the magnet quite yet, but we're going to make this fun. Lorraine picked this out. She paid two bucks for it. It's going to be $12.95 after it is upcycled. And those little profits will go to Lorraine's thrifting addiction. <laughs> she also found this music box for $2. It's got um, some old decoupage work on it. I'm going to sand that off and use the new product on this one as well. It works and you can see through it. Oh, this one was made in Japan. Good pick, Lorraine. A Toyo music box made in Japan. Nice pick. Did I say how much she paid? Two, it's up at $12.95 as well. This beautiful brass bucket was also $12. It's got the fun little handle on it. It's a chunky handle. Chunky hollow handle, perfect planter for the spring, great brass patina, paid $12. It's up at $34.95. Ooh, made in Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong. Let me know, do y'all prefer for your own personal style, brass or copper? I ask that question a lot and it's usually a mixed review. Or maybe I have some tarnished silver lovers out there. Where y'all at? I found this little tray. What did I pay for it? Where did all my darn stickers go? Hmm. I told you I was chatting the whole time I was posting this stuff. I do believe this is up at $14.95 and I paid $3 for it. Just a great wood color. It's got the beaded handles. It's like, it's classic farmhouse tray. How cute would this look? Three mason jars, pretty fresh peonies or whatever, um, fresh flowers you grow. Just a great little staple piece. And that would work all year round. I also found this wooden tray. I grabbed it up at major, no, I grabbed it up at I think this one came from the Salvation Army where I didn't find a lot. Um, $3, just a plain tray. This is gonna get some decoupage paper. And I think I put feet. Decoupage paper and wooden feet maybe. Read the description. On things like this that I list up, it says read description next to it. Make sure you read through the description box on that product to see how I'm going to upcycle it. Decoupage paper on this one. And after it's all said and done, it will be $24.95. All right, I do believe this is my favorite find of the week. Found it at Blessings Abound and I could not believe the price on it because all of their other brass and copper pieces are pretty high. This one was stuck back in the gardening section way back on the bottom shelf, way behind things. I saw this porcelain handle first and I was like, ooh. And I thought maybe it was gonna be one of those like coal buckets or whatever but it's not, it's a kindling bucket. It's got the mixed metal, brass and copper, but y'all look at the patina. It's got the lion head, the porcelain knob, the patina on it is ugh, to die for. In fact, I took a lot of pictures of it because this is this patina is what I'm always trying to replicate. And I realized when I'm trying to replicate it, I don't think I'm using enough white I need to start using some white wax too. It's gorgeous. I paid only $15 for this massive thing. It is up at only $69.95. It's a great deal for it. So if you've been looking for a piece like that, go snag it before it's gone. 
I also found these in the same area back by their gardening section. They also have the baskets. Love these scoop baskets. I've only found a few in my three, three years of thrifting. I've been thrifting a lot longer than that, but only for work for a few years. In the last few years, I've only found a couple. I decided to sell them as a set. They're not the same color, but I don't know. I just felt like they went really well together. I love the structure of the pieces that come down to hold the handle onto the baskets. They're just so pretty. They add so much texture and visual appeal. You could hang them, kind of hang them together from something like a shelf in the kitchen. You can style them, just super cute. Anywho, I could go on and on and on. Made, there's like a, ooh, look at the little stamp on this one. Paid $3.50 for both of them together and they're up at $22.95. That very interesting little painted stamp. I can't make it out. It says made in. Made. I don't know. Very cool. Very, very cool. I found this little tray with the four bowls in it for $3. Got the handles. And then the nice four little wooden bowls. This would be great for um, entertaining if you like to serve snacks and stuff, but look how cool these are. They're like a block. So they fit in there so nicely. This set is only $14.95. I could have probably taken these bowls out and sold them on their own for more than that, like that much a piece, honestly. How fun the design is on this. So this is just a really fun, unique piece. And I didn't want it to sit at the thrift store and go to waste. So I snagged it up, $14.95 for this set of five. So even if you don't like the basket or you don't entertain, you don't want this for dips or something, those bowls alone are worth it for sure. Because like this bowl right here, made in the Philippines, nice handmade bowl, I have up at $8.95 alone. Again, I was distracted <laughs> during pricing. So y'all better go snag these good deals before I change the prices after this pre-recording. I'm kidding, I would not do that. I won't do that. I found this little sing single sugar mold. It was $3.99, so a little pricey, but I never find them, so I grabbed it. And I listed it up at $14.95. I should probably keep this one since I never find them. And I'm wanting to restyle things, huh? Gosh darn it, it's okay. $14.95. Melissa, if you're watching this next week, I'm not going to list items while we're working. <laughs> oh, goodness. I found this little crock. It was 20% um, off day, so I ended up getting it for $3. A little pricey, but it's going to be another one of those really quick flips right? Normally I'd prefer to only pay a dollar or two for something this size. But now that I carry the transfers, the redesign of Prima transfers, it takes me 20, 30 seconds to put a transfer on this. And it has taken the piece of decor up to a high-end look. I can sell it very quickly and easily. This will only be $12.95 after the transfer is added. Then I found this Pampered Chef one. It was $3 as well. So it's like the, the size difference, but it's fine. Same place. I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to stencil this one. The um, the texture on these, they take the DIY paint so well. This one will get a stencil. This one will get a transfer. And this is a first, a Nordic Wear pan. This is a pumpkin loaf, one pound pumpkin loaf pan. And look how pretty the design is on it. It's like pumpkin vines. This was in one of the uh, like plastic bins in front of the shelves at Major Thrift. And I wasn't sure at first. I was like, meh, I don't know what that is. But then I Google searched it and realized it was collectible Nordic wear. Snagged that up. What I pay, I paid, where, oh, where's my sticker? There it is. I paid $6 on this one. No, it was 20% off. So like four and a half dollars on this one. It's up at $26.95, which is about $15 less than I was seeing them on Etsy and eBay. I try to stay under those prices as much as I can. 
this is funny. I found this at uh, the Giving Tree. And the second I saw it, I knew that I had the other one at home already. It's been, the other one's been listed for a while. I like to do flips on these topiaries. I haven't had time to flip the other one. So now I have two. Right now they're priced individually at $24.95 each. They are an amazing um, heavy pot, terracotta pot. They're gonna get new moss, new fresh moss down there. I'm gonna clip off this weird viney guy here on the side. I, I just don't like it. It looks like an umbilical cord to me. And then the old ivy will come off. This will get a fresh, like fresh wash. We'll clean it all. I'll either use it my air compressor and spray it out. Or sometimes I wash them and put them out in the sun to dry. Just use like a sprayer in the sink. A little Dawn Power Wash. You can wash your baskets and stuff. Put them out in the sun to dry. And they'll be perfectly fine. So... That's what I'll do with these. And then it'll be a beautiful brand new topiary high-end look. They'll be $50 for the set um, since they're listed up individually at $24.95. But if you just want one, you can just purchase one. These I don't always pick up, um, but there were a set of three. And when something's sitting in a set of three, it's more visually appealing to the eye. So that's odd, odd numbers, three, five, seven, and it gets me too, even as a consumer. So there was a set of three, even though they were marked individually, $2 each on the small ones, $3 on the big one. This one's missing its seal. Both of these still have the seal, but they're just so cute together. The ones, and they're very clean inside. So if you wanted to use them functionally, you could. Um, and I know you can buy replacement seals as well. But they're in good shape. No chips or cracks on these. I have the set of three up at $24.95. And even if you don't use them functionally, great farmhouse pieces. Oops, don't break it. All right, another little crockery piece. This one was made by Holly in 2015. It says Waverly Apples on it, and it's got the little indention inside, so a little apple baker. I love the, the look of it um, with the writing and everything. And of course, this is 2015, so it's not super old, but somebody has got to create antiques for the next generation, right? So like, I'm buying things that aren't super old. We'll resell, we'll resell, we'll keep it around, and eventually this will be an antique crock piece, right? Vintage and then antique. Um, I paid $2 for it, it's up at $9.95. And if you don't like the Waverly Apples side, this side just has a plain blue stripe. You can just face the apples side towards the wall. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If you can't afford some of the bigger crockery pieces, but you'd like the look, here's a nice little small one you could add into a vignette for a nice low price. This little guy caught my eye. I wish it had the lid. Once I looked it up, I realized what it was. Um, it's an old oil, olive oil tin. It had a lid. It actually had oil in it at one point. Um, it was $2.99 and I have it up, I think at $12.95, but it's got some great advertising on it. Even though it doesn't have the lid anymore, it would look very, very cute with some greenery or floral in it for spring. And it would hold water too. You could use it for a little mini watering can. Sometimes it's really nice to have little tiny watering cans for your small plants, especially one with such a pointy um, little spigot there. If, especially like succulents and stuff where you're, you don't want to get the leaves wet. Okay, a few more items. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have finished and made throughout the week. And then I'm going to hop over live on Facebook before I lose momentum. <laughs> This is a fun little mixed metal container. Lorraine helped me figure out what this was. I was like, uh, I don't know. Is it a scoop? Is it you pour with it? And she saw this thing on the side. She's like, oh, it looks like you strike matches here. It's a long match holder. Um, what does this sticker say? Made in Taiwan. I have it up at $16.95. I paid $4 for it. And that mixed metal is great. If you have a fireplace, this would be so cute. To style up on your fireplace either with actual matches or floral. Springtime you put floral and everything. I've been buying up these single copper cups they've been selling. Usually I would only buy them in sets but the singles have been selling great. This says Old Dutch solid copper made in Portugal. 
I paid $2 for it. It's got a brass handle, so also mixed metal. This is a good one to drink out of. You could still totally use it. It's in good shape. It's not the best hanging one. I talk about that a lot with the handles. Like it's not got the best hanging handle, but it's got a good holding handle. You fit all four fingers in there. Like that's a good mug. Have a good uh, Moscow mule out of that. This adorable little brass piece was only a dollar. It's gorgeous. And I am not big on like rose. I, I mean, I like roses. I've got one tattooed on the back of my leg. Fun fact. Down at the bottom. But like in decor, in my own personal decor, I don't decorate with roses ever. But this one really caught my eye. It's $10.95. The roses are like 3D. So, so pretty. Couldn't leave that behind. Gorgeous. Makes me want to keep it. Only 99 cents on this. A beautiful little pitcher, creamer. Uh, made in China. It's a little bit darker here at the top and it fades down kind of ombre and it's just got the most beautiful crazing in it. Can y'all see that? So, so pretty. Very dainty, very French country. And I usually pick these up when I see them. It's got one little booger down there, but you really can't even see it from the side. And honestly, it just adds more, more character to it. Paid a buck, it's up at $14.95. This cute little crockery. Henry McKenna Sour Mash Bourbon Whiskey, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 86 proof. It's empty, nothing left in it. Cute little crock. It's not a crock. Cute little jug. <laughs> Has the blue stamping. Couldn't pass it up. I paid 50 cents for it. It's up at $4.95, $3.95, something like that. I paid $2 on this one. It's up at $8.95. How cute is that little watering can? Uh, this wire is kind of weird, but I didn't want to mess with it too much. I figured whoever bought it could mess around with it because I didn't want to break it. It's not actually functional. Those holes are not real, but it's just so cute. I love putting little things like this up in my kitchen window with my succulents. And I like tiny things. If you're new here, I love everything mini. I found this cute little set of corbels, paid $2 each, and they are up at $24.95. They're going to get a little paint job. Um, they were, they're not wood. They're like a, they're like a resiny kind of material. And somebody painted them white. The white's chipping off, but the color that's underneath is not good. So I'm going to give them a much better chippy paint job. And this is a good size. They're, they're not very big. They would fit perfectly into a little vignette. They would also look really great with some books in between them. Last thing today in the thrift haul, at least, is this bunt pan, a beautiful yellowy, harvesty yellow gold color. Paid $3 and my bunt pans are always up at $12.95. I should have several available right now too if you're looking to start a little collection. Okay, um, I put a video up yesterday, finally got an edited video out. Sorry, it's been real rough, y'all, between taxes and shipping and hiring and training. But life is going to be so much better now. I'm so thankful. And I am thankful. I'm so thankful I need help. Don't get me wrong. I was just getting very overwhelmed. Anyways, I got that edited video out and the last thing on it was the decor boards. It's been a while since I made a video on these. I've got a lot of new subscribers and somebody had requested it. So I, so I showed how I cut these out and then this set I did copper repairs on. I had a few of the mixed metal angels left over from Christmas that hadn't sold and I cut the pieces off of those and salvaged the pieces out. How pretty are these? Not sure what's going to be available still as I put the video up yesterday, but you can definitely check to see. That one I actually repaired with a little piece of leather. This is a weathered wood decor board I, $22.95. This one is E for $19.95 and it's got that big honka copper repair down at the bottom. This one is the letter H, and they're all called Weathered Wood Decor Board, and then the letter. This one is H. 
It's got, I glued these two yesterday just to make sure they were going to be good. I'll take that off. It's got the crack right here that's been repaired and then faux repaired with the copper in the front. That one's H for 1995. This one is B and it has brass on it for 1995. This one is A for 1995. It's got three repairs. And then this one I think is my favorite. Oops, what letter is this? <laughs> fine but this one actually split really really weird I've never really seen a piece of wood split like that so that's an actual repair and then down here it was splitting as well so I, I glued this one down and then repaired it that one's really tall and I love that long skinny handle the color on this one so those were really fun. I always have fun making these and I always try to think of, okay, what's a little way I can make them a little different than last time um, since I've made, oh God, I've made hundreds of boards <laughs> in the last couple of years. These are the candlesticks I showed last week, how I was going to put them together and they didn't sell, which is fine. So I actually painted them, got them all finished, took nice pictures of them and then decided to sell them as sets instead of singles. So there's a blue set, there's a white set. When I'm recording this, they're still available and they're $26.95 per set. Those came out super cute. This was one of my personal decor pieces for the longest and I just don't have room for it anymore. It's a beautiful piece of weathered wood. Um, I used DIY crinoline on it and then I had thrifted this little wreath a couple of weeks ago and it was the perfect size for this. It didn't have a O for the longest time so it was just sitting in my decor. I've been clearing my stash out now it's available to you for $39.95. It's got a hanging hardware on the back or you could do it this as a shelf sitter as well and it does include this wreath with the greener for sure and then you can switch that out seasonally your wreath or your floral. The wreath, I just poked the little greenery into it. So if you want to change it, it's not hot food. And this wreath is really cute. Look at the little extra like grapevine on it. It's a good one. Oh, it's two wreaths put together. <laughs> it's thick. Okay. Another board. These are painted. This one is D, $16.95. And this actually used to be a piece of my booth sign. I sanded off the letters and it left a beautiful chippy effect. This one is J painted with moody blue for Miss uh, Sarah requesting some blue. And this one is F and I used the Sweet Pickens Crackle product on this. Look at that beautiful crackle. I'll have an edited video on this one up next week, Miss Sarah. I did the um, copper pieces on this week's video because it was a little bit quicker. Next week I'll show this beautiful blue and I'm gonna show my new Crackle product. This one's F1695. Okay, um, this piece right here, I had the enamel pot and there was a strainer inside. I didn't get the strainer done yet, but I got the pot done. And all I did was add one of my beautiful, whoops, transfers. This is the classic vintage labels. It's come, it comes with all of these different transfers in it. And I actually used two, kind of snipped and clipped them and combined them. How pretty is that? So this one has a big, big uh, spot on the inside. Not usable anymore, but now it's great decor. Fill that up with some beautiful flowers. Set the lid next to it and fill the lid up with some like ground cover. Um, some flowy greenery, and look what a beautiful spring centerpiece this could be. French country all the way. We love our enamel. And last thing I'm showing you today, I'm clearing out of my stash, is this cheese box. It's massive. I stenciled it a while ago with a JRB stencil, and it is $26.95. Still clean on the inside, so it'd be great for some storage. And it's a great, beautiful industrial farmhouse book. So new things available up on my site. Be sure to go check them out. Um, what else do I want to say before I go today? Thank you guys so much. This has been such a fun 
thing to do every Saturday morning. Y'all are so supportive. I have had so much fun shopping and bringing these massive hauls to you and shipping out all of this great junk all over the United States. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to do so. There's a little bell next to it. If you click that bell and select all, you'll get notifications every time I upload. And then also I've got my second channel. So if you didn't know that, it's Lifestyle by Brie. I'm doing mostly thrifting videos over there right now, um, but we'll be including some cooking, some cleaning, all of that good lifestyle stuff in the very near future. I am so close to being monetized on my second channel. So if you haven't yet, please hop over there as well. Subscribe and watch all the thrifting videos. I need about a thousand more watch hours and then I will start getting paid from that channel as well, which is going to support this channel, going to help keep um, investing in more products and stuff for y'all. So any way you can support me, I would appreciate it. And those ways are all free. Just a thumbs up, a share, a comment. That helps me grow more than you even know, I think. Um, what else? Also, so close to being monetized on Facebook. So if you would, after you watch this video and you're not um, following my Facebook, hop over to my Facebook page, click the follow. I need 10,000 followers and then I can start um, collecting the watch minutes to be monetized over there as well, which means Facebook will pay me as well. All of these things are what help me live. I mean, this is my job. This is my full-time gig, a reseller and content creator. So all of those little free things help support me, help my family, help pay my bills. And I appreciate you guys so much. Um, so I'll, I'll, once I hit 10,000 followers over there on Facebook, then I need to start collecting live watch minutes and um, edited video watch minutes, just like here on YouTube. It's all a process. Anything y'all could do to help support me, I appreciate it. So I'll quit blabbing. Everything I showed you is already up on my site, upcycledbybrie.com. I'm dropping that in the live chat. It's all listed down below. But if you ever have any questions um, and I'm not answering fast enough, please email me, upcycledbybrie at hotmail.com. That'll be the fastest way to get a hold of me. Sometimes I don't always see all of the comments here on social media because y'all comment a lot and which is great, please don't stop. <laughs> but sometimes those questions get lost. So, okay, I think that's it. That was my haul. Thanks for hanging out with me on this beautiful Saturday morning. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Now hop over to my Facebook and watch me do a couple of these crock flips. Bye friends. Ooh, bye. <laughs>